हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एंटीस इंग्लिश चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन फोर टॉपिक्स यूथ ऑफ इंडिया इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड बेनिफिट एंड लॉस ऑफ ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस ऑल फोर स्पेसेस आर प्रिपेयर्ड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एन तो लेट्स स्टार्ट मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस कॉम्पिटिशन एंड फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड प्राइजेस विल बी रिवार्डेड तो लेट्स सी हु इज गोइंग टू विन so now welcome mr akash for his speech please clapping for akash my respected teachers my dear friend good morning to all of you good morning today i'm going to speak before you on the topic is importance of english and importance of english in my career thank you uh, english is a global language it is very important to us because many field required to uh, english like multinational companies law uh, and uh, politics and uh, media reporters like uh, if you want to get job for uh, government and private sector he need a good speaker and you and you do not have a command of english you get never success in in your life english is a commercial language when you go to another countries like america and france and britain uh, you have a skill of english you talk them with them easily without any problem in india many ministers are uneducated and then they keep a english translator you have a good english so you can get a, uh, a translator job and india all government exam required 25 to 75% uh, english marks of english and uh, you know english so you read any novels you read any books and you read uh, you watch any movies in english without any problems and easily and uh, what is the value of english in my life i am belong for uh, middle class family you know and uh, they spend on me and they want to see me as a successful person in our life and i know without english we can never succeed and so uh, that that's all about me but once again uh, you know english is very good but you should never forget your mother tongue thank you for listening me good morning to all of you today i'm going to speak before you on the topic incredible india okay. India represents unity and diversity. India is a democratic country where people there uh, themselves choose their leader and live with freedom. Its uh, history is very deep and vast. India is known as for its uh, architecture, uniqueness, and greatness. Our country is a mixture of cultures, regions, traditions, clothes, diversity in food, languages. Our national anthem is Gan Gan Man. Our national song is Sare Jahan Se Acha. India is the seventh largest country by its geographical area, and uh, uh, it, it is located in South Asia. Our country is uh, also incredible because its uh, beautiful mountains, seas, lakes, forests. Many foreigners uh, each year visit to come India to see the beauty of our country. India's civilization uh, is more than 5000 years old. India is the lar uh, largest constitution and the biggest uh, democracy in the world. India has 29 28 states and uh, 22 languages, many religions and uh, a number of rivers flowing through it uh, like most famous the Gangas, the Indus, the Brahmaputra. Its diversity is uh, a sense of our country. Uh, india has given birth to religions re religions hinduism sikhism and buddhism atithi devo bhava this is the most famous saying uh, means uh, uh, gets our like god uh, it is a uh, uh, spirit of our indian culture and tradition north region this is the most incredible uh, thing in the world that is himalaya which is the highest mountain in the world also included the beautiful kashmir covered with mountains uh, this region is uh, uh, consists of one of the wonders of the world taj mahal many people comes to visit their southern region the this is the land of nawabs it's uh, famous for its uh, languages food festivals it's famous for uh, rice dishes west region part of the our country included west bengal jharkhand odisha the capital of west bengal 
Kolkata is the largest city. Kolkata is known for its uh, uh, sweetness and uh, festivals. West region, west part of uh, our India is really incredible because it's uh, covered with uh, sands and deserts. Rajasthan, Gujarat and Maharashtra is uh, really amazing places in this region. You will love to visit there. India is India being a multicultural, multi ethnic and a multi religious culture, celebrate many festivals, many holidays for various religions. We are proud of our culture and it's our duty to maintain its uniqueness. Thank you. So guys, kaisi lagi aapko is piece? Mujhe comment karke jaroor bataiye. So now who is coming next? Sonali. Please welcome Sonali. Respected sir and my dear friends. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Today I am going to speak before you on the topic benefits and loss of online education. <laughs> online learning is uh, one of the easiest and popular trends in education. There are many benefits and loss of online classes. Many traditional schools and colleges they started their courses in through online classes due to pandemic the pandemic has also increased the demand of online classes it has many benefits for students students can learn students can study from their home uh, when any student not able to take their classes so they can watch video recorded video whatever the teacher taught in the class this is really helpful for a pandemic situation it has some losses also at a school students learn how to make the friends how to behave with teachers and our classmates also online learning can't offer face to face human interaction which is really important for developing our personality most of the student who don't have electronic devices who who can't uh, take their online classes because they don't have uh, mobile laptop tablet use these devices is uh, harmful for our health or eyes also and uh, finally i would like to say that both of the classes is uh, best for ourselves and uh, now this time uh, we are attending offline competition we can interact with each other so that's all thank you so much for listening to me next videos dekhne ke liye channel ko subscribe kijiye aur bell icon jaroor dabaye